Guys, you did it. You made it to the last lesson for HTML, colors. Okay, uh, we're going to wrap up our HTML unit by learning how to specify colors in different ways. Okay, so the first exercise is create your own color. Make a web page that tells a little bit about yourself. You should have an H1 tag that says your name. You should have a P tag that describes something about you. Then create three HTML inline style rules. One should set the background color of the body using the color's name. One rule should set the background color of the H1. Use the color picker to get a hex, a decimal value. Okay, so we haven't done this yet. We're going to see what that means in a second. And then one rule should set the background color of the P tag, and you want to express the color using the RGB format. So we're going to apply color three different ways. Let's get started. Okay, so when you run the web page now, it just has some placeholder text. Remember, you can always get rid of that. And we want to put a, a header with our name and... I believe, yeah, the paragraph that says something about yourself. So I like to make art and code. All right, that's something about me. About me. You guys probably already know. Okay, so name and little something about you. Now we're going to get to the styling. So the first thing we want to style is the background color, and we want to use the color's name. So style equals background color. And remember, this is called inline styling. There's two other types of styles we're going to learn about, and it's inline inside of our HTML tag. So background color for the body, I can go to my docs and go to colors, and I can choose any of these. My favorite color is green, so I'm going to go with that for now. Okay, so if I run this, I should have a green web page. And... Yeah, so far so good. Okay, so now we want to add a background color to the H1 tag, but this time we are going to specify color using a hex code, so no names. And hex codes are basically a combination of letters and digits. Let's see if I can find my color picker. Yep, there we go. Okay, so color picker, you can use this to pick out a color. All right, what's, what goes with green? Let's go with a yellow color. All right, so if you, cho if you choose this color um, inside of the um, window here, it will give you the hex code for it. So hex code, start with the hashtag symbol, and you can copy that right from the box and put it inside of your background color. Okay, so just like you would specify a color with a name, you could do the same thing with a hex code, but you need to start with that hashtag and you must include all six uh, letters and numbers. Okay, so um, running that, I should see my name with that background color. Okay, that looks great. And then last but not least, you're gonna style the paragraph with a background color, but in this instance, we're gonna use RGB format. So this is the third type of way that you can specify color in web design and we can use our color picker as well so choosing a different color if I go ahead and take a look here I can see the RGB values 219 36 187 okay so RGB stands for green red blue and I'm sorry red green blue and basically you can mix um, any amounts of each of these colors to, to create whatever color you want essentially okay so the possibilities with color are endless all right so I'm gonna go ahead and specify that there so RGB uh, oh my gosh, I don't know if I remember. <laughs> 87, was it? Okay. Um, I can always just go back and look at it. Okay, so 187. All right, so you're going to put that in order, and you're going to separate the RGB values with a comma, so red, green, blue. Let's run that. And my paragraph should have that magenta background color. Okay. So this looks wonderful. You're aiming for something like this. Again, you don't have to use the same colors, but in the first um, first tag, you want it with a name. Then the second is hex code, and the third is RGB. And I got that color picker for my docs tab under color picker. All right, very nice job on colors.